Hello everybody and welcome to my 8th tutorial on Microsoft Excel 2013 and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how dates work in Microsoft Excel. We've already gone through numbers and text and they're very uh, simple to understand the dates. Jumps up a little bit of a level and they're a little bit more complicated. Now, if you want to type a date into Microsoft Excel, it's very simple. You just type in whatever the date is. So today the date is 2nd of July uh, 2014. Uh, and it's very intuitive how you're filling it in and most people understand how to do this. Uh, but what is really important to understand is that this isn't how Excel actually stores this piece of information. Uh, and understanding how it stores this information is going to be critical in order to understand how all the formulas work. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you uh, how you change the formatting of cells. So if you just go right click on a cell and go to format, and then you'll see in here I've got a list of different number formats. Now at the moment this cell is in date format and that's because Excel has automatically recognized that I've typed in a date and so it formats it as a date. Uh, you can choose different formats for your dates. Uh, but what I'm interested in doing is actually going into Format Cells uh, and clicking on General. And you'll see that this is now showing 41,822, uh, which at first may seem like it bears no resemblance at all to today's date, uh, but it is actually how many days it has been since the first of the first 1900s. Uh, if I just put the date in again down here, uh, you see I did it quite quickly. If you press control and semicolon, you put in the today's current date. If we want to do tomorrow's date and we put in 41822, so this should equal the 3rd of the 7th, 2014, uh, if I put in 23022. Uh, and if we wanted to do yesterday's date, we'd do 41821. Uh, and that should be first of the 7th, 2014. Uh, and if I change these back to normal date format, so go back to date, you'll see that those dates fall through. Uh, and so what this means is this is actually a number and not a date. And that gives us a lot of power over what we can do with it. You've already seen that we can just add one or minus one to it in order to make it uh, a new date. We also can just simply add seven to it and that will add seven days to it uh, if we add 365 to it it will add a year to it uh, unfortunately not all years have 365 days so this doesn't always work it's not always going to jump in 2015 but luckily there's quite a few formulas we can use to help us with those things uh, which I'm going to come on to in the next tutorial. For now I just really want you all to get your uh, kind of get the get the understanding that the dates are stored as these numbers which is called a time serial uh, and they're not stored in uh, how I've got it here uh, and they're also not stored in American format which a lot of uh, Excel things default to. Uh, so uh, that that's going to be it for this tutorial. I'm going to come on to formulas in the next tutorial. So thanks for listening and I hope to catch you then.